Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. A very good evening to you all. So a few of you have been asking for a new quiz on the channel. I am just going to do a quick one today, but I will do an extended one on Monday. So I will give you until Monday afternoon to try and get those answers in. So I will also do the slide separately at the end without me talking over. That way that you can concentrate and maybe get out those coin albums to help you along the way. So I'll talk through all of the questions and then I'll leave you to it and I hope that you enjoy this quiz. So number one, what is the most common Olympic 50p coin from 2011? Question number two, the third rarest Beatrix Potter coin from between 2016 and 2018. All of those coins that were meant for circulation. We move on to question number three, what is the rarest 50p to ever enter UK circulation? Number four, which 50p coin has a mintage figure of just 210,000? Question number five, how many sides does a 50p actually have? Number six, what coin weighs more, the 50 pence or the 2 pence coin? Is there much in between them? You will have to find out on Monday. Number seven, which 50p coin is missing from the sequence? The Tale of Peter Rabbit, the Mr. Jeremy Fisher, the Benjamin Bunny, and what is the fourth coin which is missing? Question number eight, which designer's initials feature on the 2019 Paddington St. Paul's Cathedral and Paddington at the Tower of London 50p coins? Those initials can be found below the Queen's neck on the Queen's portrait side. Number nine, how many different 50p coins designs were released back in 2011? And finally, question number 10, which 50p coin features the year 1755 and why did it commemorate that year? So I hope that these 10 questions are quite interesting. Some of you might be able to fly through them. Some of them are a little bit more difficult and might need a quick research if you want to try and get them all right. Don't just Google them all if you're not too sure, just have a guess anyway. Sometimes you might feel a little bit more accomplished if you've guessed a few right and got them all correct. Remember that it is not a test, it's not a competition either, so you are allowed to actually not get them all correct. Again, definitely not a competition, it is just for that little bit of fun. So please do play along if you would like to. 10 questions, how many can you get correct? If you can get over half of these correct, you really are a true coin collector. Stay safe, and as always guys, thanks for watching.